Good morning. Today is Sunday. It is really late. I've been a lazy bitch and I'm like, okay, bitch, you gotta get it together. So, we are going to weigh ourselves because today is weighed in. The first time I weighed in myself was on Sunday, May 23rd. And that was... Is this my phone? Yes. And that was for 257.8. That was my weight. 257.8. Now today is the day that we weigh ourselves and we're also going to go ahead and add our measurements. I, have, I did not measure myself the first time, but this is how we're going to continue on moving forward um, as well. Now, I'm in my dad's room. Um, it is messy, but mine is messier. The whole house is messy and this really puts things into perspective. But anyways, it is time to weigh ourselves. So I'm going to put you down here. Don't judge, bitch, because I will block you. <laughs> Alrighty, not going to lie. A little nervous, but let's get done. Wait, because it says that it actually wants to do a barefoot, but I ain't taking a picture barefoot, bitch. I do not like my legs. I mean, my feet. Um, let's just try it one more time, this time being barefoot. That's crazy because it's a little lower now that I'm barefoot. Yeah, now I was able to identify, like, my BMI, my body fat, uh, all that stuff. So, okay. Let me do my calculations because I'm bad at math. Okay, so I now remember it was 257.8 what I started with. And now I weigh 254.4, which isn't a huge difference. It's so funny because literally my best friend was like, Oh, are you excited to weigh yourself? She's like, how much do you think you lost? And I said, mm, maybe like two or three pounds. And she's like, why so little? No, I feel like you lost more. And I was like, mm, don't want to get my hopes up. And this is why. Like, you know, I'm telling you, I only lost, I did my calculations, 3.4 pounds in a month. Even though I do feel different and I did fit into those jeans, it means that I'm, you know, my it's just muscle and all that stuff. But I'm not going to let that discourage myself. But I did feel like, fuck, man. I worked my ass off only for 3.4 pounds, bitch. But at the end of the day, like I said, I do feel better. So that's what matters. Now, let me measure myself and I'll show you guys the like results and everything because I don't know how to work this shit. You guys, I'm in Smart and Final. And look at what the fuck I found when I went crazy trying to go to Albertsons to buy this fucking bread. Well, actually, it was a different brand though. But I'm glad to know that they have this here. I'm making French toast today, so I don't need one because I have enough. But I came to get egg whites. So... They only have these big ass bottles though. Yo, guess where I'm going? I haven't really been vlogging today because I've just been in like a blah mood. If I'm being honest with you, like as soon as I like waited myself, I just felt like some kind of way to begin with because you know, I only lost like what, 3.4 pounds or something like that. And it, you know, it took me some time. Like I had to kind of like reset my mind and be like look that's still a lot like if you see a visual picture of like what one pound is like a fat because i'm just assuming that i that's that's fat that i lost then um i'm able to be grateful for every single pound that you are losing of fat so um i it just took me a while and like it got to the point where like today's father's day and my dad wanted to eat olive garden so i had to order online Excuse me, Ronaldo. Excuse me, can you sit? Ronaldo, I need you to sit, okay? Like that, good boy. Where are my sunglasses? I'm actually thirsty and I left my water at home. I'm gonna have to buy one. So, um, I didn't even want to order anything. I was just kind of like disgusted because I actually did not mention this, but I binged it yesterday. So maybe that made me gain a pound or so, but regardless is i just didn't feel like ordering food today for that reason you know so like honestly i i didn't really eat much today like i didn't eat until recently and um my brother wanted canes so we went to canes like after this morning final we went to canes and he grabbed like some chicken i ate two pieces and then um, I ate the Toscana soup from Olive Garden. That's like one of my favorite soups ever, the Toscana soup. Oh my God, that car, 
almost made it seem like he was gonna come to my lane, like it's in the opposite way. Oh my god, I'm scary. Anyways, I had a Toscana soup, and then I had, I think, a total of like two or three breadsticks, which is still a lot because if you think about it, those are really fattening. Um, what's up with that car? Okay. Um, sorry, that just tripped me out. And then I had ordered the uh, uh, Alfredo pasta, but with mushroom instead of chicken. But I didn't finish it. I probably had like three or four bites and I was done. Like, I'm full. And like, that's all I've had. And then plus water. Where's the owner of that car? That car is broken down in the middle of the road. Like, one of the, yeah, one of the tires. And, yeah, anyways. Um, that's all I've had. And I haven't really drank water and stuff, so that's like I'm really thirsty, especially because I had all that fattening stuff. Donaldo. But, anywho, I'm going to Target because I just finished meal prepping my breakfast. And I realized that all the foods that I'm making for this week are things that I'm making in advance and that I'm, I need like containers for. And even though we have lots and lots and lots of Tupperware. I don't know what he's, what he's wanting. He was like jumping like crazy in the back. Even though we have lots of Tupperware and stuff, and I like the meal prep stuff, and like I don't like to hear shit from like my mom. Like, oh, no, no, no. like I was using a lot of her Princess House stuff, and that was because I was making like certain things like like a day before, so it's easier to just like you know use it, wash it, reuse it. Versus these, like I'm making everything in a day basically. So. Um, I need to go buy a few more of those meal prep containers and then my dad needs me to buy these like batteries and uh, what else do I need from there? I need to buy yogurt I think and then that's it. Um, I am currently, my, my uh, uniform is drying and uh, I still feel like, like I just, I was a lazy bitch this weekend, really that's what it was. Which I don't mind at the same time because, like, I needed it, you know what I mean? But, like, I need to make sure that I do clean my room because I notice a pattern, at least for me. If my room is, like, disgusting, then that really, like, switches my my mood and my, and my like, aura. Like, I'll be fine at work and stuff, but, like, emotionally myself, I'll be, like, a freaking wreck, like, a mess. So, I need to make sure that I do clean throughout the week my room. Tomorrow, like, while I'm working out, I'll throw um, some of my clothes in the washer so I can wash it and stuff like that. But, yeah, so we're going to Target. I feel like I fucking just live at Target, like, I swear to you. I'm there all the time. It's a little annoying when I have to keep on going because it's not like it's around the corner. It does take, like, at least over 10 minutes or so to get there. Um, so, yeah. And especially right now that like I'm cooking and stuff. So for my breakfast, I did make five meals because I'm going to have that Monday to Friday. I probably will even make that on Saturday or something. Um, but the lunch that I'm having is going to be like buffalo style chicken vaquitas with uh, quinoa instead of like, you know, your rice. Um, and then for dinner, it's going to be the... Uh, Alfredo pasta with mushroom and oh broccoli. I need to buy broccoli. I just remembered mushroom and broccoli Yeah, that's dinner obviously with the Alfredo. Oh, and then Parmesan cheese and then uh, snacks is gonna be the Rice cake the caramel because I still have that and I still have almond butter So that's gonna be one snack. I still have the skinny pop So that's gonna be another snack and then I have the grape ice cream. So that's gonna be another snack. So that's three snacks breakfast lunch and dinner and uh, I am buying a yogurt here too so that's gonna be something that I'll probably have on my breakfast too but what was I gonna say I am probably not gonna make like for the lunch and dinner I'm probably only gonna make four because we do have a meeting on Thursday and they are buying us food and I did choose a place that's like vegan and like dairy friendly and everything but I still feel like I, since I don't have control of like what the calories are and everything, I'm just not gonna, like that day I'm only gonna have like my breakfast and like probably my snacks, but I won't have like my lunch and my dinner because I'm assuming that that's like 
combining like the lunch and dinner calories that I'm going to be consuming this week, I feel like that's how much that will be for that one meal that I'm going to get on Thursday, if that makes sense. Um, so, yeah, that's why we're going to make four of the Alfredo pasta and four of the buffalo chicken fajitas, which is fine. That's cooking for me today. It's already freaking 7.24. I, I'm hoping I can still go to bed soon. I'm hoping that I can be by bed by, let's be realistic here, no later than 11 p.m. I still haven't even edited yesterday's vlog. I haven't edited today. I thought that I was going to do like Saturday on its own, but I might combine both. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know yet. I don't know, but I'll, anyways, I'll see you guys at Target. So here we are, Target. I'm telling you guys I'm horrible at filming, but I got the yogurt, meal prep stuff, broccoli, and then I got these water thingies. They're water enhancers, the strawberry uh, watermelon, and then that one is raspberry lemonade, and it's zero calories. It doesn't have a lot of sodium and doesn't have that much sugar either so here is the back in case you guys are interested but yeah i was interested in these now let me look for the batteries and get out of here so i am done meal prepping lunch oh my gosh i'm like so tired <laughs> so tired but i want to show you guys how i cooked it so i did it in the air fryer and i use um aluminum foil which you could use i did my research and basically i created the buffalo chicken um, style fajitas and then we already have our quinoa it's already been weighted but I wanted to show you this is a little hot because I just took it out but I fold it in nicely and then you can see the chicken and the fajitas and yes the chicken is cooked there's no pink in there let me see if I can like show you you know you see it is no pink anywhere so I'm just transferring that into the meal prep uh, bag you see all those juices I'm gonna transfer that too but that is what lunch looks like here's the final look for the Alfredo pasta and I know it doesn't look appetizing right now <laughs> that much or maybe it doesn't I know it looks like a lot but at the same time I did measure everything and let me see well, actually my math might be a little bit wrong because um, I add my step in here, so let's do 670, 670 minus 150, because that's my protein shake, and minus 90. So this dinner is 430 calories. So if you look at my fitness pal right now, my breakfast is going to be 277, which is two French toast, four of the turkey sausage. I'm doing two tablespoons of that syrup, and I'm having that yogurt that's 80 calories. Lunch, we do have that quinoa, the sliced um, boneless chicken breast with the two tablespoons of the medium buffalo sauce. We have some red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, orange pepper. That's lunch. Dinner, we have the light linguine. Remember, this is the, the cool... Um, Pasta thing that I ordered from Amazon that's half the calories of the regular stuff. And then this is uh, roasted garlic Alfredo sauce. We did, I forgot how much it is in grams, but basically we did the servings that equal 60 calories. Then we have the blackened chicken strips, which is uh, 3 ounces for 110. Then ignore the low fat milk because that's like later on at night after my workout. Um, this is the protein shake that I take after a workout, so ignore that. Then broccoli. And then we have the dairy-free um, Parmesan cheese, which is what you guys see on top right now. And then we have the uh, mushrooms that I added. I didn't want to waste anything, so I basically took up everything. And this is the Parmesan cheese that I'm trying out. It's a dairy-free Parmesan style, which is kind of funny because the Alfredo sauce itself has dairy. So some things like affect me, some things don't. So I'm trying to see what I can do. Hopefully this doesn't F me up. Then for snacks, we do have the um, grape ice creams. Then we have one of the cracker caramel rice cakes, and that's going to have some of the um, almond butter. And then we have some of this uh, white cheddar skinny pop popcorn. And that, you know, it says right here how many calories I can consume on top. Uh, 1,640, I'm consuming 1,590. Um, and then it tells you, like, you know, if you've been working on stuff, how many calories uh, you can consume if you wanted to. But, anywho, 
this is basically what I'm going to be eating. We'll try it out. We'll see how good it goes. And yeah, so I'm going to let this chill before I put it in the fridge. You can't even see me right now. I try to turn on my brightness, but I just laid in bed and I'm tired to turn on the lights and everything. But I am tired. I'm going to bed. It's basically midnight now. I have to be up in like five to six hours. So... <laughs> Yeah, but we got everything done. That's what happens when you are a procrastinator and leave everything last minute. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, I hope you guys had a beautiful, happy Father's Day. And um, overall, just a good weekend. So, si Dios quiere, nos vemos mañana. Bye.